Hello, I'm Rachel Andrew and I've written and will be presenting this course on HTML5 and CSS, an introduction to modern web development. Knowing where to start with web design and development today can actually be really hard. There are many different tools, processes and ideas to learn. However, the fundamentals are HTML and CSS. Whether you're writing HTML and CSS by hand, or writing CSS for HTML generated by another application, such as a content management system, you're still using the same tools and languages. It may be you just need to know enough HTML to edit content, or to build and test your own designs before handing them off to a developer, or perhaps you want to tweak themes, such as those for WordPress. It might be that you hope to follow a career as a front-end developer or web designer, or it may be that you are a programmer, a developer who sometimes needs to work with HTML and CSS, and want a refresher on your skills. This course can serve all of your needs because the core fundamentals are relevant wherever you might work on the web. In this course, you'll be learning modern and up-to-date HTML5 and CSS. However, I have kept to things that will work well in modern browsers, rather than showing you techniques that require a lot of work to create fallbacks for some browsers. I've also taken care to introduce all of the relevant terminology. Web development is such a huge field that it really is impossible to remember everything. What you do need is to know how to search for the things you need to know, and so a good understanding of what things are called really helps there. By the end of this course, you will have a solid knowledge of HTML and CSS. You'll be able to mark up a site correctly, and then use CSS to format text, images, add color, and also to create layouts. We'll even cover the basics of responsive design, so you can build sites that work on desktop and mobile equally well. I'll show you how to embed video and audio using HTML5, and we will cover using HTML and CSS for forms on the web. I really hope that you enjoy following this course, and that it's just the beginning of your learning of HTML and CSS, and how to develop modern websites.